Welcome back to Amy Explains once again. Coincidence? I am Amy Fox. And this time, Bertha Lorenzen asks, were we able to relax and play a bit now that we're making a show as trans people about trans people? Short answer, yeah. Yeah, hella, yeah. Uh, a lot of shows are, hey, look at this marginalized person here for your moral edification or your pity or to demonstrate that the majority protagonist is a great person or for, you know, ridicule or for we're not really sure. Um, and definitely not for it's just another character, sadly. Uh, but we were able to do something pretty cool. We were able to say, hey, look, it's trans people in a sitcom People in sitcoms are messed up. Um, what I'm talking about here is that, take a look at Bugs Bunny versus Mickey Mouse. Mickey Mouse, a few cartoons, he's a mascot. Bugs Bunny, huge number of cartoons. They keep trying to reboot them in series on a regular basis. This is because Bugs Bunny is a jerk. Mickey Mouse is just a swell guy. Uh, and this is one of the keys to comedies. Your characters are flawed, deeply, deeply, consistently flawed. And in that, human and beautiful. And we were able to go as trans people like, hey, let's have messed up, screwed up, mistake-making, trouble-causing people who happen to be trans in the leads of our show. So, excellent question. I am still Amy Fox. I imagine I will still be Amy Fox next week, and I'll see you next time.